I joined the Marine Corps because I wanted to make a difference. I joined the Marine Corps because I heard about the brotherhood and the camaraderie. I joined the Marine Corps because I needed to do something worth doing. I joined the Marine Corps because I was looking for a challenge. I got what I was looking for. I joined the Marine Corps because I wanted to see the world. I wanted to, to travel. Not everybody can be a Marine. I could have joined any other branch, but I chose the Marine Corps because if you want to be the best, you have to join the best. If you're considering joining the Marines, it's a good place to come. It's just a big, big brotherhood. The Marine Corps is honor, courage, and commitment. That's what it's all about. And the Marine Corps is all about patriotism. It's all about the red, white, and blue. The mentality of the Marine Corps sets us apart. The pride, the tradition, the need to be the best, because we are the best and we want to stay that way. For over 230 years, the country has depended on us to be ready, and that's why we're here today, to be ready. The Marine Corps is all about esprit de corps. Being a Marine is about going above and beyond. Being a Marine is a step above the rest. It's all about serving the country, having pride, holding your head up high, knowing that you're a United States Marine. Island, Marine Corps Recruit Depot. The transition from civilian into Marine starts right here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 10. One. I'm Private First Class Lon, Alpha Company, United States Marine Corps. I joined the Marine Corps because it's the number one most respected branch of service. I've always wanted to do something with my life, and I've always set high goals. Providence and Bend is the key, you understand me? Yes, sir. When you, you join, you don't exactly know what's going to happen. Yes, sir! Onto the island, and everybody on the bus was scared. And the drill sergeant came on the bus and was yelling at us to get off. We ran and got in the yellow footprints. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to get out and get on my yellow footprints. You understand that? Yes, yes sir! Scream out! Yes, sir! And I was shaking when I actually got here. I was nervous that I wouldn't make it, nervous that it would be too hard, but not nervous enough to where it would, it would keep me from completing it. Drill instructors push you to your limit because they show you what it's like to be in a combat environment. Keep hitting them with the elbows. Keep hitting them with the elbows. Hey, 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 hey. This morning is going to be the graduation ceremony for Alpha Company and November Company. Five platoons of males. November Company has two female platoons. We'll all graduate together. My name is Private First Class Haynes. I'm so happy and so excited. To become a United States Marine, honestly, is the best thing in the world. I can't imagine anything I could have done better. When we say Marine Corps, it gives me chills because of what it means, because of the history behind the Marine Corps. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you to Paris Island and this morning's graduation ceremony. I'd like to take the next few moments and talk to you about these young Marines standing before you today. They arrived on Paris Island over 12 weeks ago, blurry-eyed, scared, disoriented, yet eager to start recruit training. To come to recruit training, of course it's hard, but where would you be if you stayed home? The last 12 weeks have been one of the toughest in my life. Even though it was tough, what got me through was the motivation from my family and from my girlfriend to be proud that they can call me a Marine. As you leave Paris Island today, understand the pride and honor of our Corps rests personally and squarely on your shoulders. Serve proudly and with distinction. You are our future. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you our nation's newest and finest United States Marine. It's gonna be 
good feeling to leave, but you're gonna miss the atmosphere, you're gonna miss all the recruits. You get such strong bonds with the other Marines because you have to work as a team. Teamwork is essential in the Marine Corps. That's what the sisterhood and the brotherhood's about. It's about respect, just like a family. It is a family. So proud of him. We're proud of him. He's made us proud the whole time. We were looking forward to this day for some time. Just glad we're here. The best for last. It's done. I'm so happy and overwhelmed. I'm happy that it's done, but sad at the same time. But now we just get to move on to the next step and the next chapter in our careers. Although graduation is at the end of recruit training, it's the beginning of their Marine Corps careers. The next step of training is the School of Infantry. Every Marine is a rifleman. Every Marine is a rifleman. Every Marine is a rifleman. The School of Infantry is a training school for all Marines. It offers two different courses, the Marine Combat Training and the Infantry Training Battalion. Infantry Marines will go to the Infantry Training Battalion, which provides all basic infantry skills and some advanced infantry skills to Marines who are going out to the fleet. I am PFC Diaz with Bravo Company, ITB, Infantry Training Battalion. As a school of infantry, it's been exciting, it's been a thrill, it's been a rush for me. You get to be with your friends, you get an education, you learn something new every day. The Marine Corps has given me a drive, has given me a motivation. Now I am actually making steps and making an effort to accomplish what I had set for myself. This is your family. That's what I love about our camaraderie. Hey, good job. MCT, which is Marine Combat Training, is the next step for any Marines outside of the infantry MOSs. It's for your administrative Marines, for your public affairs Marines, for your legal services Marines. They'll all go to Marine Combat Training, which will give them the basic infantry skills that they'll need if they go to combat. I'm Private Dree Collins, Marine Combat Training at Camp Geiger. During my time at Marine Combat Training, I experienced teamwork. I experienced confidence that I really needed. That's all you really need to qualify to do stuff, is confidence to get through everything. And I've experienced shooting rifles. I always thought that weapons would be hard to handle because I've never handled one before, but it's not. I've experienced throwing hand grenades. I've experienced the sores and the blisters and the aches and pains. It's all worth it. You need to make sure when you're about to receive an order that you are listening. The combat instructors here are pretty straightforward about what they want and how they want it to be done. We do not put our pack behind us! That's actually a good thing. They teach us everything we need to know. They're like our big brothers and big sisters. I know we didn't join the Marine Corps because we thought it was going to be a cakewalk, right? <laughs> mama, mama, can't you see? Mama, mama, can't you see? We're a family. We're close here. What the Corps has done to me? We look after each other. With all Marines, we're all a family. After MCT, the Marine Combat Training, those Marines will go and get their job skills from an MOS school. My military occupational specialty is field radio operator. I am I'm a helicopter mechanic. I work on heroes and cobras. Uh, supply and administration specialist. Aviation operations specialist.
After they graduate infantry training battalion, they'll move on to the fleet and to their battalions. Uh, part of the battalion's workup or their pre-deployment training is to eventually go through what's called Mojave Viper out of 29 Palms, California. Take the fire! Take the fire! Corporal Dolo with 2-4, Fox Company, 2nd Platoon. We're in uh, 29 Palms, California. I have uh, 14 Marines under my charge. I pretty much am the guy that they look to for uh, directions. Holloway squad's gonna be on the left-hand side. Now we're gonna split the squad up. 29 Palms is the uh, largest training base that we have in the Marine Corps. It's located in the uh, Mojave Desert, and it's called the Combat Center for a reason. All we do out here is conduct live fire exercises. This is the closest thing you can get to being in combat. The heat, the sand, the wind, the rock, all of that is replicated out here naturally at 29 Palms. Oh, come on, you're good. The more training ops we do, the closer we get. So one day, if we do go to combat, you know that he's got your back and you've got his back. Right in front of you, 12 o'clock, 200 meters. My name is Lance Corporal Campos with 2-3 Fox Company, 1st Platoon, 29 Palms, California. We got first squad all right here. My MOS is I'm 0311 Infantry. My billet in the platoon is a fire team leader, second squad. Hey, look at target. Hey, it's about 200 meters down to the left by the sandbags. Get anything done out here, you have to work as a team. About 10 o'clock, you got a green island about 50 meters out. Pick up. Hey! Ready to move. It can be dead exhausted, but you see Marines to your left and right, and it makes you want to push. And it's going to man you! The reason why we have all these different type of training is because it can be deployed to go anywhere in the world in a matter of hours. The Marine Corps is going to be there on a moment's notice, which it sets us above everyone else. They're going to get out here to Mojave Viper and have their metal tested out here in the desert. And once that's complete, their battalion is, is going to say that they've received the best, most current, up-to-date training that the Marine Corps has to offer. When I first signed up in the Marine Corps, I never expected to go to half of the places I've been. I've been to France, I've been to Italy. Guam, Korea. Bangkok, Thailand. Turkey. Beijing, China. Okinawa, Japan. There's nowhere else that you're going to be afforded that opportunity. My name is Lance Corporal Altrichter. I'm with HMM 265 on Fatima Air Base, and we are located in Okinawa, Japan. We good? Yep. I'm a 6531, which is an aviation ordnance tech. Basically, what I do is provide air crew and pilots with ammunition, weapon, and ordnance in order to accomplish their mission when they fly. Each specialty that a Marine focuses on fits together in order to make the entire machine, which is the Marine Corps work. So we're just a small portion of that machine but we're also essential. I love what I do, whether it's doing the ops checks or fixing a gun. They're such a, a, a powerful piece of machinery, and knowing that we're the reason that they work and they function is a pretty incredible feeling. I requested to come to Okinawa, Japan. I wanted to go overseas, mostly because of the travel experience, meeting new people, the culture, the opportunities that it poses. That was a very, very big part of me uh, joining the Marine Corps. Another reason is because I knew that they had all kinds of educational benefits. You can take classes while you're in and it's no expense. So I'm doing that, so the opportunities are, are endless. I'm probably gonna remember most of the friendships that I've made and the incredible culture that I've now taken in as a part of myself and that's never gonna leave me, I'll have that for the rest of my life. I'm always gonna remember the experience I had here in Okinawa. I'm Sergeant Bass, Marine Security Guard at 
American Embassy, Rome, Italy. Marines guard embassies all around the world. The Marines are well known for being great warriors, great protectors. It just makes the, the embassy personnel feel a lot safer knowing that they have a Marine standing guard. The Marine uh, Security Detachment is absolutely critical to this embassy. It's something which gives us great, great comfort as we walk in. I think there's a very deep appreciation for Marines. The Marine Security Guard program right now is three years. I'll receive orders and I could be anywhere in the world this time next year. After we get off of post for eight hours, if our collateral duties are caught up and everything, we can do pretty much whatever we want here in Rome. Uh, since I've been here in Rome, I've been to quite a few of the attractions, the Pantheon, the Vatican, the Colosseum, the Spanish Steps, the Roman Forum. My experience working here in Rome has been wonderful. I'm from Chino, California. And coming to Rome, Italy, it's a huge change. A lot of history here, um, a huge city, lots of things to do and see. It's definitely an adventure every day. It's a good view of the city, too. Some people live an entire life, and they never see a place like this. They may go to college and study history and art, but actually being able to come out and see it firsthand is so far beyond anything you can learn in a classroom. It's mind-blowing that Marine Corps has a program like this. Sergeant John Hoogie, 1st Recon Battalion, Camp Pendleton, California. I was formerly a reconnaissance team leader. Now I'm a cadre instructor for recon candidates to go to a basic reconnaissance course. Uh, it's a serious job. You have to maintain control of the entire situation. Your team's counting on it. Let's go. You can do that on the move. You can do it on the move. Go, 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 go. One of the fantastic opportunities that Marine Corps has afforded me was the opportunity to go to military free fall. I mean, what better rush, you know? Guys pay to do that. I get paid to do it. While you're on deployment, you can take history classes, psych classes, Spanish, math. I mean, any college course you want to take, which I highly recommend. I took two years of college, got an associate's degree. We're out here at a beautiful Del Mar Beach on Camp Pendleton. Couldn't ask for a better day. <laughs> no, you work hard, we play hard. Come out to the beach, there's no talking about shop. You know, it's just, hey, let's have a good time. There's so many things to do on base. The base is a city and self-contained, not to mention all the amenities Camp Pendleton offers. Camp Pendleton is like a, a city within itself. We've got pools, we've got gyms. If you like surfing, there's always surfing. Intermediate football leagues, both tackle and flag leagues, baseball, softball, uh, just about any sport you can think of. It's a pleasure to be out here and play because we still get the feel of what we do as Marines. And then at the same time, we get to come out here and they give us the opportunity to play intramural sports as well. The barracks here is great. And uh, when you move on, you get married, and you have a family, the Marine Corps provides housing. At Camp Pendleton alone, there's 6,600 housing units. <laughs> My wife and I have been married five years. We have a one and a half year old son, born in Southern California. You know, the things that he's gotten to see and do that the Marine Corps afforded my family. You know, I'd be back home in my small town. Instead, I'm here in Southern California, and he's seen and done more things than, you know, I ever did by the time I was, you know, 10 years old. Being a Marine, you hold yourself to a higher standard. You got one shot on this earth. Make it worth it. I've barely scratched the surface of what it truly is to be a Marine. It's beyond words. It's beyond comprehension. You just, you have to be there. You have to live it and take advantage of it and be a part of it to really understand.
The entire Marine Expeditionary Unit has 2,400 Marines. We're preparing to come off the ship to land. Uh, to just be in a fork atmosphere as people are awaiting. Same thing's happening in the uh, aircraft as the time draws so close to us uh, being together again. We will all be on liberty. It's well deserved, and I know we're all looking forward to it. My name is Nicholas John Poole. I'm a corporal with uh, HMM-261. I'm here to see Nick Poole. I traveled from Colorado. I am just ecstatic. I can't wait to see him. My name is Copa Andino. I'm part of the 22nd Marine Expeditionary Unit. We did humanitarian service in Iraq and just uh, helping the Iraqi population. We're fighting a different type of war. It's not like uh, small arms fire every time or getting in firefights now. It's all about keeping the security that's right now in Iraq so they can become a successful nation. A lot of what the Marines are doing out there is keeping the country safe for the Iraqis there, rooting out terrorists as we've been employed to do and trying to establish the new government. Today's my husband's homecoming, and um, I'm just finally happy to see him again. I'm so, so proud of my husband. I'm very, very proud of his work and everything that he has done. He's my hero. He was in his dress blues, and everybody that saw him would come up to him and wrap their arms around him and just tell him thank you. Thank you for serving our country. Thank you for keeping us safe. Core values are honor, courage, and commitment. They apply to everything in life. I got them engraved in my heart. I'm proud of everything I accomplished. Most of all, just knowing that I made a difference, knowing that I did something to serve the country I'm in. It's just amazing when you see that, everybody's just so grateful about what you do. Set a certain way, it's for a reason. If they are hard on you, it's for a reason. Now you understand everything, everything they taught you. All the training was well worth it. <laughs> Being part of the Marine Corps is an honor that you will carry with you for the rest of your life. You can never have somebody take that away because it wasn't given, it was earned. It all goes back to what it says on my left breast pocket, U.S. Marine. Being part of the few, part of the proud. Everybody looks out for each other. It's just great, it's phenomenal. I wake up every morning, I still love it. I love being a Marine. You're doing something for your country, for yourself, for your family. What you do is important, and people realize that, and they appreciate it. <laughs>